malignant hyperthermia versus neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Both of them have the word malignant in it. The signs and symptoms are the exact same. They get hot as a ham, high fever, I'm talking 104, 105, altered mental status, and muscle rigidity in both. The treatment for both of them is dantrolene, a little bit of farm right there. Both of them have the word malignant in it. Both have the exact same signs and symptoms and both have the same treatment. How do I know which one is which? The cause. The cause of malignant hyperthermia is going to be a reaction to an inhaled anesthetic, something like succinylcholine, but it's also going to be congenital. So the patient's going to say, well, I think my dad um, had some sort of a reaction the last time he went in for surgery. Whoa, to what? Uh, we're not really sure, but this is what happened. Okay, now we've got some family history and we're saying surgery. We're a little suspicious. Whereas with neuroleptic malignant syndrome, we're looking for a patient that recently got started on an antipsychotic. So look for a patient that just got put on the most popular one, haloperidol. And now they have these signs and symptoms. So differentiate them by the cause because the signs and symptoms, exact same. The treatment, exact same. And both of them have the word malignant in it. So make sure you differentiate those two because the boards love them.